Are you feeling stressed, anxious and overwhelmed, more reactive and less resilient than your usual self? And then to add to your stress, there's that extra weight on your shoulders, the nagging worry that all this stress could be impacting on your health. Hi, I'm Kirsty Cullen, registered nutritional therapist at the Optimum Health Clinic. And in this video, we'll explore the effects of stress on our bodies and discover the key nutrients that can help to restore balance. The psychological stress can show up in the body rapidly, bringing various physical symptoms with it. So what might this look like? You're having trouble sleeping, waking up tired and feeling fatigued. Your bowel habits have changed, more bloating and burping, constipation or diarrhea. You're more sensitive to foods that you used to tolerate well. You're experiencing acid reflux or heartburn. You're struggling to regulate your body temperature effectively, feeling the cold more and struggling to get warm. Your menstrual patterns may have changed and maybe you're gaining weight without changes to your diet or exercise routine. Finally, you may be noticing that your glands are sore, so you're feeling like you're coming down with something, but it never fully appears. Now, do some of these symptoms sound familiar? And who needs these symptoms on top of the stress itself and whatever is causing it in the first place? Stress also impacts your body in ways that are not so immediately obvious. Firstly, stress can negatively influence how you regulate your blood glucose levels, and this might explain why stress is a risk factor for the development of diabetes. Stress also impacts your vagus nerve, and this is the nerve which innervates most major organs in the body. Stress might also alter your heart rate variability, which you might notice if you're tracking your biometrics via an HRV monitor, watch or ring. And finally, stress might cause a change in your hormone balance, particularly in relation to cortisol, melatonin, thyroid, and sex hormones, such as progesterone, for example. And I'll explain a little bit more about the impact of hormone imbalances in a moment. So let's revisit that original question. Can stress make me sick? Well, studies suggest that chronic stress increases our chance of developing high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, and mental illness. And some studies even raise the possibility that stress is a risk factor for the development of some cancers and autoimmune conditions. Remember though, towards the end of this video, I will share some of the key nutrients needed in times of stress and how you can access that support. So now let's dive into the science by exploring how stress triggers these physical symptoms in our bodies, giving you a clear picture of the why behind the way that you feel. First, let's take those digestive symptoms that you experience courtesy of stress. Now, when you are stressed, the body switches into fight or flight mode so that you can handle the imminent threat. And in this state, digestion slows. And this is because the sympathetic nervous system is running the show during stress rather than the parasympathetic nervous system, which simply put, is your rest and digest mode. So as digestion slows, you might experience constipation and abdominal pain as a result. Stress also reduces the electrical activity required to move food through the bowel. So food may sit around in the bowel for longer, fermenting, producing gas and resulting in subsequent burping and bloating. Stress also disrupts the balance of healthy gut bacteria. Those bacteria are central to many functions in the body, including digestion, supporting your immune defenses, and stabilizing your mood. Remember that stress can be linked to immune and mental health issues, so this starts to make a little bit of sense. Interestingly, your gut microbes also have a role to play in how you manage your weight and blood glucose levels too. Remember those from our initial symptoms list. So now we understand a little more about the impact of stress on the gut, let's go back and consider some of the other symptoms we discussed at the start of this video. So you may also be experiencing low energy, sleep disruption, disrupted menstrual patterns, weight gain and mood swings, all courtesy of stress. So why is this? 
Stress increases the production of cortisol, and cortisol is our stress hormone. Now, the endocrine system is like one big orchestra. All parts need to work together in perfect harmony. But when one section of the orchestra randomly changes tempo, then this can impact on the other sections of the orchestra too. So suddenly the string section speeds up, cortisol in this analogy, causing brass, percussion and woodwind sections to slow down in an effort to regulate the tempo of the music or simply because the strings are distracting them. And so harmony is lost. In the endocrine system, we can see a similar impact where cortisol levels increase in response to stress and the production of other hormones may decrease. This might include melatonin, your sleep hormone, thyroid hormones, which influence your weight management and energy levels, and finally, your progesterone levels, which are important for regulating mood, sleep, and energy. So just that simple action of raised cortisol can disrupt your hormone balance and create a cascade of associated symptoms. As promised then, let's consider how you can support and protect your body against the impact of stress. At OHC, we create individualized nutritional therapy protocols which use targeted dietary approaches, tailored supplement plans, and a range of lifestyle tools, all designed to support your stress body. But here is a list of some of the key nutrients that you may find helpful. Number one is L-theanine, which is found naturally in green tea or also in supplement form and is shown in research to reduce stress symptoms and improve sleep quality. Number two is magnesium, which is depleted by stress. It's an important nutrient for our adrenal glands and they help to govern your stress response. But more than that, magnesium is also central to your energy production, your blood glucose balance, and it's also an important nutrient to support sleep. Thinking back to the symptoms we just discussed then, you can quickly appreciate why magnesium may be a key player in your nutrition repertoire. Foods rich in magnesium include avocados, seeds, lentils and bananas. Number three on our list is zinc, which is also depleted by stress and an important player in our central immune system. Remember those sore glands we mentioned? And ironically, zinc may actually help us to reduce anxiety and improve mood balance. Zinc-rich foods include chickpeas, pumpkin seeds, and meats such as beef and pork. Number four, B vitamins. Now remember those symptoms of low energy and fatigue associated with stress. B vitamins are central to our energy production, so can offer important support. And finally, number five, probiotics especially important given the gut symptoms we discussed. And this is where probiotics can help to restore the gut microbiome when it's been negatively impacted by stress. Additionally, certain probiotics can also improve and accelerate the speed at which food moves through the bowel. And remember those symptoms of constipation and bloating. And finally, studies suggest that the probiotic Lactobacillus plantarum can actually independently reduce stress and anxiety. So this is just a glimpse into how nutrients and targeted work with your nutritional therapist can be used not just to alleviate stress, but also to reduce the impact of that stress on your body. This is just a glimpse into how nutrients and targeted work with your nutritional therapist can be used not only to alleviate stress, but also to reduce the impact of that stress on your body. If you would like to get access to your own tailored nutrition plan, please do visit our website, which you can find in the link in the description box below.